What is up guys, it's time to install the first mod for the E46 and this mod isn't just for the E46, it's for other platforms as well E90, F30 or even not even BMW It's actually an interior mod and I'll show you guys what it is in just a sec And here it is, it's an Xtrons head unit for the E46 This is one of the most powerful head units that I've seen on the market for an affordable price too I've seen similar models but they were just way too expensive and they had less specs this company i've been doing a lot of research about them but they put a they put some powerful stuff into this small head unit and this head unit will actually look original it's i'm not a fan of those big ipads that you know other companies put this one is uh similar to the one in the e39 m5 and also i think the higher trim E46s. I'm I'm not too sure if E46s even came with a head unit, but this is supposed to look very very similar to that, yet very modern too. So I'm gonna open it up and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Extron's driving entertainment. That's not what the unit looks like, but looks like we got a user manual, some wires. And that's the head unit. I'm gonna need two hands for this. Hold up. Here's the head unit. It's very light, but I've heard this thing is very powerful, even though it's very small. This is our connections for Wi-Fi, GPS, and 4G. I've noticed it's a bit damaged, but shouldn't be anything too concerning. I'm gonna show you guys the wires. I should probably open this. This is what the box comes with. It also comes with this little tool this thing goes over here it's for if you want to uninstall this unit for any reason whether it's to go back to the stock unit if you're selling the car or if you want to upgrade to something else but this is our um, i assume this is the antenna this is the gps and there's two of them so i'm not sure what they are actually uh probably wi-fi and then this is all the main harnesses and this usb i'm not sure what it's for but i'd assume it's for updating the head unit whenever they get some updates and stuff like that so you could either route this to the fuse box or into that storage compartment down here i'm not sure what i'll do but i'll figure it out and then there's some extra wires for if you have an aftermarket stereo system and stuff like that so apparently this box was supposed to come with the tools that i need to pry off these trim pieces and a screwdriver to install the thing but i don't see it in the box so i'm gonna have to run home and grab that real quick i'll be back in just a second all right we're back so i went to walmart and picked up a screwdriver and this is some trim removal kit that i got off aliexpress for like a dollar but basically you have to remove these two trim pieces right here and then it should expose the screws to remove the whole head unit along with the ac climate controls so i'm gonna try doing that right now hopefully i don't break anything but essentially you just pull at this this might be the wrong i need a different one all right so i'm gonna try to take these two off and i'll see how it goes hopefully i don't break any clips but I feel like the tool will break before the clips even break. Okay, this is actually held on pretty strong. I might have to use the metal one. I would not suggest using this, but I'm gonna just, you know, be light around it and hopefully it pries off. Okay, there we go. Yeah, this one's much better. I'm gonna do this off camera because I need two hands for this, but I'll show you guys when I'm done. Alright, so I got this, the passenger side trim piece out. It's held together by three clips, four clips, I mean. So you have to take off that one in order to take out this one. And as you could see, this one should be easier actually. So you just put it here and as you could tell, it's already coming off. And it's a Phillips head screw, so... I'm going to use the screwdriver and I'm going to take this off real quick. So just take this trim piece off over here. Now, oh. All right, so once you get off all the trim pieces, there's only four screws, I believe. And I just realized I 
broke a clip there so that's unfortunate but it's four 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 screws and this unit should come right off and the ac climate controls you have to relocate it down there there is a bracket that they sell online but it's like 50 bucks so it's honestly your choice if you want it to just hang there or if you want it to be more tight so i'm gonna need two hands for this so i'm gonna take this off and make sure you don't lose the screws because you need it for the other head unit unlike the other ones where just they have their own brackets for now that i took off the two screws here the back the, this one's actually for the bracket but you just pull at it and it should come off maybe use a pry tool actually oh yeah right there there we go and oh this is tight okay there got the unit out and it's pretty tight but those are the connectors i'm gonna try unscrewing them and i'll show you guys when i'm done this is supposed to go up all the way more higher than this and then you just pull it off this might i heard this one does take a while so i'm gonna use two hands for this and i'll update you guys when i get it off all right so you just gotta pull out it with full force and don't worry you're not gonna break it but yeah this unit is very heavy compared to this one this one weighs nothing but now we have to take off the ac i'm gonna try prying at this and see if it comes i need the other one i pry at this, see if it comes off, because it doesn't look like it's held together by any screws. So it should just come right off. Yep, okay. So there's no screws, you just gotta pull at it, and it will come off. It's held in very tightly. And... Yeah, okay. You have to disconnect these wires and you have to relocate it down here. This what this cupboard thing, I'm sure you I'm pretty sure you just pu push it out and then you don't really need that. You could throw it away or you could just sell it. But I'm going to do this and I'll let you guys know. It would be easier if I had two people cuz then I could actually like hold it here and show you guys, but unfortunately TJ's at work, so I have to do this by myself. This one might be tricky, but all you do is push this down and pull this black lever over here. If I could do this one-handedly. And then this should slide right off. I would recommend disconnecting your battery, but I'm just going to risk it and hope nothing bad happens. So after you get your climate control unit off, you could just put that off to the side because that's one of the last things you'll be installing. But after that, you want to take off this trim piece here. There's two screws up there and two at the bottom. And then you kind of just got to wiggle it out. You might need two hands for this. You could uninstall this too, but I'd rather just try, you know, you pulling it here. I'm going to use two hands for this. You basically hold this up here and then this should slide right out. Once you get one side out, it should be easy to get the other side out because you just pull it to the left or right, whatever side you did first, and it'll just come right out. And after that, we could pull this out and I'll show you guys what to do next. Once you get that out of the way, you could just pull out this unit. Just push it and it should come off just like that. And we could just toss this away because we will no longer be needing this. So this, I'm just going to throw it in the back seat. And then the AC will go down here. So let's go ahead and install that before we forget where this goes so if i could i can't do this one-handed but let me install this and i'll show you guys so this piece goes like that and then you just push this up and push it in and make sure it snaps into place and then this screw over here if there was somewhere i could set this this would be easier but that white piece goes here and then these two, it's pretty self-explanatory. That one goes here. And then that one over here goes right there. So once you get everything collect connected, it just sits there. Unfortunately, it's just going to hang like that because you need the bracket for that. And that bracket is like 50 bucks. But to make it easier to install, just put the car into drive. 
and then it'll give you some more room to push this in here and then once it's in there it will sit like that you could pull the wires around and make it more tight but i'm just going to leave like that and buy the bracket because it'll look more cleaner and now it's time to install the head unit so let's put this over here because we no longer need it. i don't break my windshield now it's time to install the head unit comes with a bunch of different wires and they do have a wiring diagram which i'm gonna put up on the screen and i'm gonna do this off camera because there's a bunch of wires there's a lot of wires that you're not gonna need unless you do have the aftermarket stereo system but if you're using the original head unit it should only be a couple of plugs so i'm gonna get this knocked out and i'll pick it up back i'll pick it up when i'm done for this one it's super simple you just take off the dust cover and then all of these have a number on it so you just look at the diagram and you just match it to wherever they go and you really can't mess it up because all of them are different sizes so i'm gonna do this off camera because there there's so many wires so this is gonna take a while but it'll be a couple seconds for you guys all right so a quick little update i got all the wi-fi and other antennas installed this is the usb cable it plugs in here I think I'm gonna have to use that cable because it comes with this microphone for phone calls so I could just clip it up here or somewhere like that so whenever I get a phone call I could talk and it won't be like you know unclear and then after that we're gonna install the unit with that big harness and it sh we should be done took a while but I finally got it on so let's make sure this works before we install it and it turns on right away I'll show you guys the modes once I get it. I'm not sure why my radio isn't working. But I'll figure that out later because I don't really listen to the radio. So I turned it on and my music is very staticky. Let me see if I could show you guys. Does anyone know how to fix this? Because I have the antenna plugged in and it's in there. So I don't know why it's doing that. If anyone knows how to fix that, let me know. But apart from that, everything works. Navigation works. I tested that too. I'm pretty sure you have to hook it up to your phone's hotspot. But once I get everything all put back together, I'll pick up the video and show you guys the features that this has. All right, finally got this working. And over here, I have CarPlay going on. As you can see, it's very quick. I, has, I still kept the screen protector on, so that's why it's a little delayed. But... It's very quick, way better than the old one. Maps and everything works. This is the menu. You have all your apps, settings, navigation, music, gallery. It's basically just an Android for your phone. I can't get the actual radio to work. It's just like that. Some stations do work, but yeah, that's basically it. That's, I don't know what that button does. This is your media. This is Bluetooth. And yeah. That's basically it. First mod for the E46. And I'll see you guys when I see you guys.